Welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about when I use date stamps uh, in my note titles and when I don't use them. So another question from Mr. Anthony Baker, who joins us in Discord. And there'll be a link to that below if you want to join us in Discord. And it's fairly quiet, although we're starting to have some, you know, more consistent discussion on books or on uh, just topics in general. Questions like Mr. Anthony Baker asked. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Number two is to uh, take one of my courses, uh, like my course on Zettelkasten. This is probably what you're most interested in if you're watching that. There's a direct link to that below, or you can go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, where you can just go straight to Skillshare, sign up for an account. I get some money. Find my course there. That's all I got right now. Well, let's dive in and look at when I use date stamps and when I don't. So one of the first things to understand, and for those that are joining me on stream as I record this, we already talked about it, is that I have a couple types of notes. Uh, number one is my notes notes. These are article summaries. These are my own thoughts on things, um, stuff like that. And the second one is tags. Tags are collection points like the 1982 Be Beirut massacre. It's an event. It's a tag note. So at some point, maybe, uh, the 1982 Beirut massacre will have like a whole bunch of research and a whole bunch of stuff that's linked back to it. And I might actually decide to write about this. Um, ableism is another one, right? If I opened up my local graph on this, I can see local graph. What do I have on that? I have a few, not a lot on it right now. Um, right. But ableism is another topic I could write about or acceptance, right? Or, um, addiction is another one. We have a, just one in there, ADHD. There's a few notes in there. Uh, and so, these are notes that are going to become, could possibly become better content, bigger content later, something I will write about, something I will do a video about, something that's just more than, a, it's more than a simple tag. Tags I use for a tag note for, say, something's a book, it's a person, a people, I usually call them, right? So uh, Ada Calhoun gets tagged as people because she's a people. Um, yeah. Uh, and then my notes notes are... And this is just a brief one. I did a better video on this, which I will link up above for those watching this later, are uh, things like this, right? Where we have an actual note in here. It's a summary of an article, and you see it has a date stamp in it. So Anthony's question is, why do you date stamp and why don't you date stamp? So I date stamp in my notes, and I don't date stamp in my tag notes. I don't date stamp in my tag notes because there really should only ever be one instance of them. There should be no, like, everything should be linking back to that. Um, now, there may be um, aliases of it. So say community is also community building, community breakdown, and uh, city planning and city infrastructure like the same note, basically. So they all have aliases and they all link to one spot. Um, I do not date stamp that because I want it to just be the one, one instance of it and that's it. Whereas my notes notes, I may you know come up with a note in a book and I have two, two different books and they basically need the same title because it's the most descriptive way. And then the date stamp differentiates between them. That's really it. It's not, that's it. I date stamp my notes. I don't date stamp my tag notes. So that's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened, but probably turn off your notifications because who wants notifications? You don't. You should hang out with your kids or something like that. Either way, support the channel to become a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, or to take one of my courses, uh, like my Zettelkasten course, link to that below, or you can go to Skillshare, curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare to just take one of my courses. That's it. Have a good day. Try not to fall in today.